I have once again entered the world of survival horror and the... Well, I... Uh, yeah. Let's see, I have recently been told something pretty peculiar about one thing you can do with this. And what I heard is that you can indeed... This does not look like I, I can do this at all. Okay, I can do this indeed, somehow. Uh, yes, yes indeed, so I cannot put it on the pistol, but what I can do is put a bunch of clips together, I appreciate that, that's a big thanks to Mr. Skeletal himself, mind you, this is, this is a whole one clip we got here, so let's just go ahead and combine, with our powers combined, I wonder if you can combine this and that, no, will you mix the herbs? Mixed herbs. That's looking like a, like a fine ass blunt to me. It's just waiting to be rolled up. Anyway, does it say egg? Oh no, ECG. I've been watching too many eggs lately. Point is, we're getting out if I can. There we go. She was having a little bit of trouble finding the door handle. But we are out. We are out. Uh, we're gonna go up the stairs, see if uh, we can find Wesker! Wesker Meyer, the delicious, delicious sausages for the survival horror specialists. Uh, let, let's pack, let's pack it, pack a heat, pack some, pack some gun, pack a gun, pack some heat. Because there's a guy right there. Hello, sir? Sir, hello, uh, guys? Uh, one, a la two. Oh shit. Well, that's uh. No, this is bad. This is Big La Bad. Can I get him? Will they get up again? And if you fall, you'll get up again. It's locked. A carving of armor. They will get up again one day. What's in here? It's a blue door. If you know that after blue. Comes the poo. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. Ooh! Come to daddy. Will you take the green herb? Absolutely. And just, uh, let's see if we can combine this fucker. Yeah, I'll mix the herbs, alright? Mixed herbs. I have literally no idea what this is supposed to do, but this is looking fucking delicious. Don't you agree? Book? Does it say book in it? Book? Hook? Like a pair of boobies. This is outrageously white. What gives? What is put in the stove? A paper is on the wall. Okay, well, I guess it's a paper. It's a really good paper. Paper of high quality. High quality paper. A carving a helmet. So, that, uh... That translates to get the fuck out of here, there's nothing here for you. That's a uh, Resident Evil language. Get the fuck out of here, there's nothing awaiting you at the end of this hole. We'll hit. Whoa! They lift! Cool! So I guess I did fucking destroy them. The door knob is broke. The door knob is broken. Let's see, do I have any map of the second floor? Nope. Oh well. We'll just exit through here. I can't even tell if there's a door over there, but I guess not. I unlocked it. Because I'm the master of unlocking. Thanks! Maybe I'll need it. Oh shit, okay, so hold on. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Let me just get you. Straight in the cheekbone. Okay, well, he died, sorta. What's here? Hello? Look, the carving of armor. Well, nope. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Can you, uh... Can you, like, fuck off? There you go. That's a nice little boy. Locked. A carving of armor. There's so many carvings. It's not even funny. I don't think I've gotten through this door before. Never mind. Larry! Larry. What's going on? 
Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Really? Whoa. Whoa. This hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first. It for Fuck okay. me. Let's separate again. Just a moment. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. Oh. It's really powerful. Really? Especially against living things. Really? Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? Yeah. I have this. This. Thank you. I'll take this then. Ooh. Yeah, take it. You got the acid rounds. Okay, cool. <laughs> Doing some acid. Okay. Nice moves, Barry. I guess that's it for him. Let's see what we can figure out. Is this open? It is open! Very nice. Very nice. I like it. I like a little bit of door opening. Just to move that a little bit because I couldn't tell. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't see the, the amount of nice ass, girl. Uh, oof. This is not bueno at all. I hope this blood isn't from my teammates. I couldn't see that the amount of time that I've spent recording. That's what I wanted to say. There we go. I said it now. Congratulations. Ooh. Creepy. I'm hearing... Well, I am hearing some crows. Crows. The crowd. The crows go wild. Seems like I can go through here. Oh no. Who's this? I got... Well, you take the bazooka. It's not a bazooka, I think, but okay. Who is it? It's Forrest! He's been pecked to death by crows. And here we come the crows, and now it's time to run, 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 run away from the crows, because they're not cool at all. If there is something I can never fucking do correctly, is get air things. This is especially noteworthy in Borderlands with racks. But that's a story for another occasion, and at least Borderlands doesn't have this amazing aiming system. <clears throat> amazing aiming system. Amazing gaming system! Sega Mega Drive is coming to. No. We're not doing that. This is way past a Mega Drive. It's way past a Genesis, for fuck's sakes. Right, so I want it. What did I want to do? Seems like I'm missing. I, I wanted to go get. There's a, there's a set of ink ribbon. Ooh. Watch out! You might fall off the stairs. Yeah, that's right. Just take it easy. Take it slow. Don't try to run. Don't try to run down the stairs because you might fall off. You might fall off and die. Fucking hit yourself in the head. Get bonked. Right, so there was a... Nope, stop that. There was something here. I don't know if I touched it. I don't know if I touched it. But I will definitely touch it now. Yeah, push, girl. You're gonna be pushing a lot more once you meet with me. B. You know what I mean? Did I never get this? Or did I miss a set of ink ribbons somewhere? Never mind. I'm starting to forget. What are you doing? Well, I guess you're just gonna have to move that one out of the way. Well, it can't be helped. We'll have to separate to find it. Going around the house is a good thing that monsters, monsters don't respawn. What does it? Otherwise, we'd have to wipe out. My goodness, woman. That's never gonna get old. Carving of armor. I'm going in circles. <laughs> Running circles around you. We've already been here. This fucking doors thing, man. I mean, I'm f f f fine with it, I wanna say, but I don't know if I am fine with it. Nothing useful. Alright, well, 
Not that much time has passed, so... Looks like it's something on the wall. Somebody was really angry while they were taking a shit. They punched the wall in. Uh, fuck! You know, like, usually that's the only way, for, like, when I have to do the final push on the turret, I always make sure to punch, uh, punch the wall with all my strength. That's, like, the only way it'll ever get out, like, uh, fuck! And that's when it really does it. Okay, I shouldn't have spoken so much about taking a, taking a leak, because now I'm feeling it. That's really bad. You don't want to go take a leak in the middle of a let's play. Did I ever check this? I did. Done did it. You done did it, boy. Yeah, this is where I left my... My puff puff. My granola. No, I'm carrying all of it. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was a bad idea to mix it up. Mix it up, or, because... down here hope you like this episode of me walking around the house being completely useless the picture is entitled from cradle to grave will I make it hey what's up crows Ooh, that's a lot of crows a picture of a young man there's a switch below will you push it yes did it ever do anything Picture of an infant. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Yes. I fucked it. I fucked it. Now I see. Now I see what this is about. Now I see what this is about. This is a puzzle. The picture is entitled From Cradle to Grave. So, does that mean I fucked it already? I don't know. I'll, I'll do the most sensible thing, which is exit the room and then come back in. Which will hopefully reset it. Granted, it probably did. Now, what does it say? A picture of a tired middle-aged man. There's a switch below, will you push it? No, that's not the cradle. A picture of a newborn baby. Okay, well, let's assume that that was indeed the cradle. Uh, what else? A picture of an infant. Will you push it? No. Let's let's figure out if there was indeed a cradle. A picture of a bold looking old man. There's a switch below, will you push it? Nope. Picture of a lively boy. Okay, come on, a lively boy could be an infant. Come on, where's the infant? Will you there's a switch below, will you push it? I think I just realized something. A picture of a young man. Okay. No, 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 never mind, never mind. Goes the infant. First goes the infant, right? That's how, that's how little boys... I don't know anything about kids, so you'll have to excuse me. A picture of a tired middle-aged man. That's what comes afterwards, right? <laughs> right after you heard him, and you become a tired middle-aged man. Before you noticed. Um... Let's see, so after infant, it would make sense for the lively boy, right? There we go, that's a lively boy for you. Is that a dead man? Yeah, that's a dead man at the end of it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, after lively boy, a young man. Yeah, yes, absolutely. I'm a young man myself, or so I like to tell myself. A picture of a tired middle-aged man. Please, Lord Almighty, let this be right. This is a bold looking old man. Yes. The picture is entitled The End of Life. This is switch below will you push it? Yes. Oh god. <gasps> He's done it. He's done it, boys. Look at that. You can't carry any more items. Jill. So you'll have to come back later. 
Well, it's not like I have anything on my shotgun, so we're just gonna drop that one, drop it there. And then we're gonna come back for that, whatever it was, the start of a sheriff. Does that make me the sheriff of Raccoon City? Every fan of Resident Evil out there is probably cringing right now, but you'll have to understand. I have never in my life played this game. So I have zero to no idea what it's all about. All I know is Jill Valentine, the Umbrella Corporation, which I don't even know what they do to begin with. Wesker, because it's a fucking Maymay. That man is a Maymay by himself, it seems. But that's it. It's... Oh, fuck's sakes. I forget. I don't even know where I'm going. What was the thing with the stuff on it? You know what I'm talking about. The thing with the stuff on it. I deserve that. Because I forget. I forget things. And if I keep hitting myself on the head, I'm probably going to forget even more. I enter from there, so it's all the very end of the hallway. Yes. Keep running, Jill. Wait! Don't move a muscle. No, what did he say? Something along the lines of... No, oh, okay, now I remember. It was down this way. Down this way. Yes, please. Sir. Please let it be right. Yes, this is it. Absolutely. Excellent. After 15 minutes, Meep figures it the fuck out. Let's see. We're going to drop the shotgun. Drop it. Because we don't have anything in it. What else? Do I really need the bazooka? Look, I'm just not gonna risk it, alright? It's gonna leave the acid rounds there. I think I got the virus. The virus got to me at the, at the last second. Hmm. I'm sure there was something. There's something I'm forgetting. This I know. But first of all, I want to get that. I really hope those crows don't have their way with me. Looks like there's something, like, within all this. Anyway, we're gonna grab this. Will you take the Star Crest? Yes. Let's take it. Now, will the crows attack me? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. I guess I just didn't have to attack him at all. Which is nice, really. But the music really, really shivers my fucking timbers. So let's get out of there. And find out what's behind this door. This ruggedy old door. I don't like it. Let's to begin with. Oh, there's a doggy. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Bang! Oh, come on. Come here. Come here, you bitch. That's right. Don't you ever mess with me again. And dogs with no remorse. God damn. When the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east. Stars will begin to appear in the sky, and the wind will blow towards the ground. Then the gate of new life will open. So what? It's obvious that the stars go up. Like, it's not such a difficult puzzle. Does it mean I cannot interact with it until... Alright, well, tell you what. We're just gonna leave the star... Inside the... Mm, chest thing. Stuff. Whatever it is. Whatever you want to call it. Chest thing. Let's call it that. A chest thing. It's 
really slow pace. It really is, I feel it. But that's good. That's partly why what makes it good, right? It's a slow paced horror, tension. You don't know what's like behind because you can't really peek since everything's pre-rendered. So in a way, the pre-render does the game some favors. Uh, let's leave this here. I think for now that'll do. Oh, come on! That's not what I meant. Combine here. There we go. Should have uh, more than enough. No, let's not save yet. Let's not save yet. I still can squeeze 10 minutes out of this one. Squeeze him. Mm. Surely. Now let's exit from above. Actually, let's check what was on the other end of... Man, my beer really itches for some reason. I should probably rinse it. I should probably clean it to begin with. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry, can't be helped. I'm a dirty fuck. Comes with the whole being Spanish thing, I guess. Carving of armor. What's behind this door? This was the door that I exited through, right? Or was it? This door had a bunch of running, I'm pretty sure. Or not. I don't know. I easily forget. Okay, so this is the door that I came out through to meet Barry. So there's something here that I haven't checked. There we go. Now we're situating ourselves. There's a book. There's probably somebody in there. Nope. Nothing was awaiting me. Nothing uncommon. It's well arranged. And there's that one fucking book over there. Yep, there's gotta be somebody over here. Nope. It's just a door. Botany book. As you may know, there are many plants that have medicinal medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the raccoon mountains that give their outlines as examples of those plants with medical properties. Each herb has different colors and different effects as medical plants. The green one records physical strength. The blue one neutralizes natural toxins, while the red herb does not have any effect by itself. It's only effective when it's mixed with other herbs. If you mix this herb with a herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery will be triple. By adjusting the amount experimented with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines, but I'll leave the details in your hands, because it's the best way to acquire true knowledge. What kind of shitty book is this? Bullshit. Bullshit, like what kind of, like I bought this book and the book told me to go fucking figure it out. Figure it out, you stupid shit. <laughs> That's not a good way. Oh. Oh. I see. That's uh. That's good. It's good to know that that's where it leads. Which means that I don't, I never really have to come down here ever again. Goodbye. Alright, now, where was the other ink ribbon? Like, I remember when I was doing the test, I know I had the way more ink, ink ribbons. Ink rivets. Blue door. I already, I already did go down here, so fuck that. I'm bothered of that. I think the ink ribbon was around the bathroom down the stairs but I'm not too sure because I want to save the game but I want to spend all my ink ribbons I'm sure you can get behind that just like I can get right behind Jill she goddamn right I can Whew. almost lost it there but I came through okay Man. Will I be able to tell what's a bathroom with this? I think I see it. 
think that's the bathroom. So I'll try and head over there. Wish me luck. I wonder, like, did somebody ever go through the trouble of, like, recreating this house? Because, I mean, this game does have a huge fan base. So I wonder if somebody actually decided, with a lot of money, to remake this house completely for their own enjoyment. Hello. Now, Ink Ribbon, Ink Ribbon, I know you're somewhere around here. And if not, please show the fuck up. Guess not. Guess I've just been tripping balls all along. Balls. Hmm. Well, shows what I know. This one's the one that was locked, right? Uh, I know, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. I think I'm, I've pretty much um, checked everything that there's to check on this side. So it's time to go to the other side of the of the house. I think. And that's exactly what we'll what we'll what we'll do. What we'll, 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 we'll do. <clears throat> Sorry for that uh, outburst of uncontrollable power. Is this can I open this door? Whoa! Oh, I guess I just skipped it. I just saw the hand go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fuck me! I didn't mean to actually press twice. It's just my finger it did a little bit of the old uh... <whistles> slipperoo. Will you use? Will you take the equipment? Oh, that's where it was. A stupid fuck. Meep. You can save your progress with this. Yes, I'll save my progress. So I guess that's where they sit. Huh? Fuck my ass dry. Alright. We just saved the game, boys. And with this, we put the episode to an end. I hope you liked it as much as uh, I like Jill's sass. Like, hot damn. I wish I was that sassy. I wish I had that cap. It's an allegory. If you don't understand what I mean by this, then you're clearly an idiot. <laughs>